Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't know, I missed a day. And y'all looking at my shoulders and down because I thought I would at least extend you the courtesy of not coming directly on camera looking like a monster. I thought I'd at least give you a little bit of a warning. So that's what this is. I have on a face mask and I washed my hair, okay? And I have conditioner in it. So this is your courtesy warning. Um, do you do Vlogmas all month, like 31 vlogs, or are you supposed to just do it till Christmas? And then, do you, if I miss a day of Vlogmas, do I just add it on to the end of Vlogmas, or do I just say, this is my Vlogmas day, whatever, and just have as many days as I have? Because I was thinking I was just going to count by my days, so my day might be off count versus other people that you watch but I want to keep it like accurate like I don't want to jump from day three to day like five or something so you guys actually let me know if that's how you're supposed to do it if you actually know or if you even care <laughs> because I figure I'm gonna just upload them as I go but yeah I'm gonna edit this vlog and I'm actually gonna go do stuff today um I washed my hair and I really want to go get it done and cut tomorrow as you guys can see, like, I have a part of my hair clipped up, so let's unclip it. So, as you guys can see, like, look at this, and then, like, look at this side. It's uneven AF, like, all this, and I've cut my hair, like, I don't care, I'll cut it. I really don't care. Because this unevenness is very unattractive. Like, this is not cute. This is not cute. And then it's, like, longer on this side. But it's, like, all. That's not cute. If your hair looks like that, get a haircut. Okay? The mask I have on is this detoxifying charcoal mask by Studio 35 Beauty. I think that this is just Walgreens brand. Um. So, yeah, this is from Walgreens. And... I like this one it works I can see like the little whatever oil or dirt whatever is coming out of my pores mostly in the middle I try to put on a thin layer of these because they take forever to dry like. So it's weird. The um, light is making it seem like this shit looks hella thin. So yeah, excuse that. Maybe it just is thin. But good morning. Um, we are on day six. Um, I'm basically just gonna catch you guys up. Cause yeah. So yeah, let's just put that right there. This jacket is from Victoria's Secret because I just have a strong feeling somebody's gonna ask so there that is I talked about this on snapchat but um I'm gonna talk about it on here um I actually thought I lost my vlogging camera because I couldn't find it like it was in my car um but it was like misplaced in my car I guess So, yeah, basically, um, I have to wake up early today because I was trying to pay my rent yesterday. Um, I have a grace period for paying my rent, which ended yesterday. Unfortunately, I was unable to pay my rent 
because I found out about a new policy that Bank of America has where if you are not a member of the bank, you have to have a money order in order to deposit. Of course, I got cash because that's what I always do. I never try to get money orders or checks because I don't know who accepts what. But I know for the most part, unless you're, if you're a large corporation place, you're gonna accept cash because large businesses and corporations accept cash. So, um, they told me yesterday that that's not the case, that they do not accept cash and that the policy had just started the day before yesterday. And I was in there yesterday and the policy just started the day before yesterday. So I was in there close to closing and I didn't have my car because my car battery was dead yesterday. My actual car battery was dead yesterday. Um, my car battery died the night before last and I had to call my roadside assistance to get a jump. That is one thing I really love about roadside assistance. Like, I don't think I could even pay for my insurance without roadside assistance. So yeah, um, I have them come and they jump my car. He told me I needed to get a new battery, so I was already planning to do that yesterday. But I thought that my car would at least start up, especially because I just haven't had the car that long. So I just thought that it would at least start up and stuff. But it didn't. So I was having trouble finding somebody to actually help me, which nobody helped me. Thanks a fucking lot. <laughs> so I ended up having to Uber to go get my hair done yesterday. Um, I just got my hair cut and I got it washed, conditioned, all that stuff and put in braids because I don't want to deal with it. Um, and yeah, so this is a wig clearly. But... Um, I really wish I had my camera yesterday like even the little the Lyft driver that I uh, Had got he was telling me about how it was his first ride ever it was his first rider My second Lyft driver I got was trying to get me to take dabs with him But he was super cool though, and if you guys don't know uh, like Recreational marijuana and stuff is legal in Nevada. So I mean it probably it's like the same thing as him offering me a drink or something But he's like offering me dabs and stuff and while he's like all doing that I'm like trying to run errands so I'm all hectic <laughs> but um yeah so I ended up having to uber all around to do my errands yesterday just because my battery was dead but my goal was to just get everything I need to get done done then I would be able to take care of my car last because I was going to take it to Sam's Club or AutoZone or someplace that you know Oh, it's open later the banks close at five um but yeah when i got to the bank and they like told me that so i didn't even get to pay my rent and i found that to be very annoying and a very inconvenient policy so i'm gonna have to say fuck bank of america although they told me chase has the same policy i am a member of chase so of course i'm not gonna experience that but i think i'm gonna have to say overall chase is a way better bank than Bank of America. And I don't know if Chase has that policy. I'm actually going to ask, I'm gonna ask them if they have that policy when I get there, cause I'm almost there. So yeah, um, um, yeah. I basically was just Ubering around yesterday trying to get my life together. Um, I'm really glad I got my hair braided though. Like, but I did want to vlog my haircut, but unfortunately I did not get it, was not able to sorry um but yeah yesterday was just overall hectic um i ended up i was able to have them come out and change my battery i have a six-year warranty if anything happened to this motherfucking battery all i have to do is call them and they're gonna come and do it and i like that i don't like to have to be worried about stuff with my car because i don't know shit about my car which is why i have insurance so yeah I think that that's pretty much it. Um, ah! I'm good, how are you? So, um, 
I just became made aware and I was just wondering if you're not a member of the bank, you can't deposit cash. What well, and do you know why? I don't know if it's money laundering about that. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like the same kind of thing. So if I write a check, I could do it that way. Yeah, it's a. I don't know if you prefer a money order or. Well, it's Bank of America, and they told me that it was like the same kind of policy. Cause I can give you like a couple of checks. It's two dollars, and you can just go over there and write them. Yeah, I'm right. that works better yeah. for you. Yeah. Do you want me to? Can you deposit, deposit that? Yeah. Thank you. So you said a. Uh, Money orders work, checks. Okay. Yeah. At first, I was very confused, but now it makes more sense now that you explain it. Thank you. You too. Alrighty. Well, there's our answer. Money laundering. You cannot deposit cash because they don't want you to launder money. Launder? That work? So yeah, cool. I'll fucking pay with the check. Like that's just gonna take them longer to get the money. Pure foolery. If I see you now, speak. I'm on my Cardi B. Well, I'm gonna go right down into the other part of the shopping center and go to Bank of America because they're right by each other. I don't think it's not coincidental that they make banks right next to each other, right? Like it's on purpose right because bank of america's and chase be did i pass it oh no damn it should have went in an entrance already though bank of america and chase is always by each other and a wells fargo usually isn't too far <laughs> I got that juice. New AP. She got that juice. She got that. She got that way. Damn, I should have already turned inside. Instead of coming this way. I had a really bad day yesterday just with all the annoyance and stuff all going on. So I think I decided basically that I'm going to have a good day. Um. Um. I really be trying to say like y'all should know everybody has like really shitty days like even if what I described to you doesn't seem like really shitty like I was definitely dealing with the shit yesterday you know so people be having their days so um as long as you just don't let it get come on lady what the hell I'm clearly not gonna hit you right Hey guys, so I am leaving Albertsons right now. I went to the grocery store because I don't know if it's just me, but I get so tired of eating the same stuff. That's when I really start cooking because I'm like, I am not going to keep on eating the same old fast food places. Like, sorry if my hair looks crazy. I haven't done anything to myself like at all and I've actually been kind of running around today it's weird but um yeah I get, got tired of eating like the same old stuff so I went to the grocery store to get some groceries because I haven't had groceries like I don't know when the last time I went to the grocery store was really I've been trying to come up on somebody's stamps but nobody seems to want to Run me their food stamps. So I honestly just haven't even gone just for that. It's cheaper when you cook. And on top of it being cheaper, it is just better for you.
fucking light right here is so fucking short right now. This shit finna blow the fuck out of me how short this shit is. This nigga has this old paper ass sign. I feel like you know somebody is like newly homeless or they like literally just need help for the day when they're next to the freeway with a paper sign. Like, can't nobody read that? You better go ask Bummy Brian to borrow a piece of his cardboard and his fucking marker. So you can actually have a legible homeless sign, you know? Just a thought. Got all the groceries in. Look at my hair. It's just looking real wild, huh? Um, so really cool. Um, I actually was helping this lady out in the grocery store. She's telling me about how her grandchild usually helps her like get the coupons on the Albertsons app. So I was trying to help her, but she didn't have to download it, unfortunately. Turkey bacon, even though I would definitely be cheating on my little no red meat shit. I love pot stickers, so if you guys know of a good pot sticker I can get and have at home, like, let me know, because I don't want to be ordering them. But this, this mess is good. And they both came with dipping sauce. Also, if you know what the sauce is called, let me know, because I was sitting there for a minute trying to figure it out. Well, is there a little bit of this wine? And let me see if it's lit or something. I'm gonna just go ahead and do some real scientific alcohol shit. All right, time to eat because I am pooped. I'm gonna eat and get my life. I'm kind of getting my life with this with this crazy hair though. Um. I'm going to eat and get my life and I will come back at you guys.